GNS family, are you guys ready to learn how to lead your team into getting started right? Well, if you guys are, you are in luck. Because right now, I would like to introduce to you the president of North America, Miss Betty Perez, to teach you just how to do that. Hello. What is going on, Jeanette's family? Hello, everybody. I see our super fans up on the stage. This is so amazing to spend some time here with you all today. Uh, first of all, I just want to welcome you to our master class on getting started right. I have the incredible joy of hosting this important conversation on launching your team members the right way. But before we dive into our content, I just want to thank you for your dedication on your, to your Jeunesse business and for being Jeunesse. On behalf of the entire HQ family, we simply want to thank you from the deepest parts of our heart for being here today. Now, LEAD is a little bit of a different type of event. If you've been to Expo or other events, then you know that LEAD is all about leadership. And this event is going to challenge you to step into the best version of yourself, to raise your leadership lid, and to ultimately get into the place that you can rise to the leadership levels that you so want. Which brings me to the topic of getting started right. You see, what we have found is that over time, what you'll realize is that your team members, typically they need one of three things. They either need motivation, they need training, or they need a plan. And getting started right is that plan that ultimately will set up your team for success. And one thing I can tell you is that as a leader, you want to master this skill set because whatever you do will duplicate. So if you set up your team right, then your team will be set up for success. So, to join me in on this conversation, I want to welcome some of the top leaders in the company to, to guide us through what they have done to master success and earn the levels of leadership that they have. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take a seat, and we are going to welcome here with us virtually, like I said, some of the top leaders. So, all the way from Brazil, from Sao Paulo, we've got Beto Carvalho. Hey, Beto, how are you? Good. Good, how good. You? I'm doing great. Awesome. It's great to have you here today. All the way from great Canada, we've got uh, Vic Victoria Nett and Victor John, Diamond Directors from Canada. How you doing? Cool. Yeah. Amazing. You guys look great. From the United yes. States, we've got Kathy Robbins. Hi, Kathy. Hi, how are you? Amazing. Happy to have you here. And last but not least, we've got Mr. Dennis Chow from Canada, Emerald Director. Hi, Dennis. Welcome to our masterclass on getting started right. Hello, Betty. Nice to have you. It's nice to see you. Absolutely. So let's before we dive into our topic. Ladies and gentlemen, I would love for our audience to have a chance to get to know you. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves and why you said yes to Jeunesse? What was it about Jeunesse that captured your attention many moons ago and ultimately has led you to these levels of leadership? So we're going to go ahead and start left to right. On our left here, we've got our uh, Mr. Beto Carvalho all the way from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Beto, go ahead. Okay, um, I'm from a small city in Brazil, and I raised it in a farm, and my dad has a farm, and my mom has a, a store, and she sells clothes, so I raised both in a farm, in a store, and in my blood, uh, when I grow up, uh, the, the desire for freedom runs in my blood, so I... I I wish to be free and I, I wish to find some business that um, allow me to be free. So I got into the university and nothing that I'm, um, nothing that people shows to me uh, beat my heart, you know, I, 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 I keep looking for some business that I can be free, I can run in any play, anywhere, 
I can I can connect with people. I can help people. And then when uh, my friend introduced me to Jonas, my heart bat, beat beaten, and I I realized that that the business that I'm I'm looking for all my life, something that I can um, I can use amazing products and improve my health my family health, my friends health. I can share this with the world and I can run this business from anywhere uh, with just my fund, you know? So yes. um, the desire for freedom, that's why I joined Jonas. I love it. The desire for freedom and at the levels of leadership that you have attained, it's clear that you have gotten there and I know that you've helped so many people get there. So thank you so much for being here today and thank you for being Jonas. Moving on to Kathy Robbins from the United States. Ms. Kathy, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and why you said yes to Jeunesse many moons ago? Well, actually, I've been in um, network marketing for 33 years. I came to it uh, from the financial business, financial services business. I owned a financial firm. And um, I got in, I had a client, and that client was Paula Pritchard. And what I hadn't told my clients is I hated what I was doing. I was making a lot of money, but I really didn't like it. So in the end, uh, I sold my part of the investment firm, gave my clients away, and joined network marketing. And in 2014, we were, we were in a business that uh, our leaders were very unhappy in, and, we, and they asked us if we could find a new home. And so we went to um, uh, Jeunesse. We met with Wendy. Uh, Jason Karamanis and Teresa Gregory had talked to us about Jeunesse. And uh, we called them and told them we wanted to meet with Wendy. And we spent two hours with her, just the two of us and her. And when we walked out, we were really surprised because we had made the decision that this was the place we should come. And when we came to our leaders, we told them and 28 of them joined us from the other company and brought their teams with them. Amazing. And uh, what a testament to Jeunesse. I know later today we're going to be talking about the competitive advantages of Jeunesse and you as somebody who has had so much experience in the industry, you chose <coughs> Jeunesse. So that's a huge testament because we know that you know what's out there and your heart is here. So thank you for being here with us today, Kathy. Thank Moving you. on to Ms. Uh, Victoria and Victor, all the way from Canada, Diamond Directors. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself and why you chose Jeunesse. Hi. Uh, I'm Victoria, Diamond Director of Jeunesse Company. I already run my own business. Uh, since I, I joined the uh, Jeunesse, I don't start the business right away. Uh, fortunately, uh, I, I joined this uh, meeting after the leader meeting, uh, something like that. Um, I found that this is a genius, is an amazing business. I looking for a for long time. So I put my effort to, to do this business. After, after one year and six months, uh, seven months, I become a diamond. Wow. wow. One year and six months. Amazing. So I am really excited to hear from both of you what you have to say because that is uh, achieving diamond in that time is obviously incredibly amazing. Victor, anything you'd like to add? Yes. Uh, I'm Victor Jiang, diamond director of the next company. Uh, with the CPA background and knowledge, I joined the next after a very detailed survey on sincere consideration. So why to the next at the beginning? I just want to support my wife. But like right now, I'm very proud to be a, a part of the next company. Because the next is not on every company like others. That's right. The next family will positive impact by helping people look very young, by empowering each other to unleash their potential. That's right. After the journey, I became a new lifestyle, almost exercise every day. I have uh, reached my goal in 2020, 2020 last year. I reached my goal to cover over 
in 2000, in the last year, I covered over 20, 2020 kilometers last year. Amazing. So I see, yeah, yes. So in like this place, I made last place in, in the world. I see in, in the rest, everything yes. is possible. And in the rest means new lifestyles. That's right. And I love that. You're 100% correct that what Jeunesse is opportunity, possibility, lifestyle. So we are going to get into that. Thank you so much. And last but not least, Mr. Dennis Chow from Canada, Emerald Director. We'd love to hear from you. Okay. Hi. Hi, everyone. Just want to say hello. Uh, good morning or good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are in the world. So I am currently living in Toronto. I am originally from Hong Kong. I live in Toronto almost 30 years now. Uh, I immigrated here as an engineer, very stubborn, you know, engineer, uh, and also <laughs> moved up to corporate management for almost over 23 years as my career. Uh, I was so exhausted and burned out, you know, a few years ago. Uh, when I met Jeunesse, I just find out, wow, this is something that, what a good timing in my life. And finally, I no need to do something for somebody else. You know, I can be my own boss. I can control my own time. And I can really relax and go to vacation without checking emails and all that from my boss and all that. So <laughs> first time in this industry, and here am I on the global event and one of the panelists. So many things can share with you about how to getting started right. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for that background, Dennis. And, and to each of you, thank you so much. And as you see, these stories, I'm sure, are a lot like your story. Their whys, I'm sure, are a lot like your why. And they are a representation that you two can be joining us here as a panelist, as one of the top leaders in Jeunesse. And getting there is all about developing the skill sets of becoming a leader and training your team to get to those higher levels. So we are going to unpack this topic of getting started right. You know, and we spent some time, all of us together, before this event to make sure we had the right questions so that you could get the most content from this particular topic. And, um, you know, one of the things that we discussed was that getting started right is very different than, you know, enrolling or signing up. It's, it's the day you actually get going. So my first question to our panelists today is in, in the context and in the, in the mindset of launching, when it comes to getting started, it's an activity of launching. Why is it such an important skill to master this, this skill set as a leader? So why don't we go ahead and start? We're gonna start from left to right. Um, Beto, we'll start with you. So tell us why launching um, is such an important skill to master as a leader. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm in my journey in this business, I can see uh, so many people that develop this skill to uh, to sign up some other other distributors, but they can't they can't generate duplication. Mm. So uh, Jonas compensation plan uh, teach you, you you cannot go uh, forward. You, you cannot advance uh, more than uh, uh, the rank, uh, the, the pure, huh? pure rank if you don't generate duplication. You, right. you, you just can reach Sapphire if you generate duplication. So do, uh, this business is all about duplication. So for me, launching a new distributor in the right way is the, this, this, the core business, is, is the, the focus uh, if you want to generate duplication and if you want to be free in this business. If you don't generate duplication, <laughs> you're never gonna be free. So the first uh, reason for me is uh, to learn the skill uh, of launching new people is generation generate duplication generate and the duplication. second is find the death find new, new leadership on the death in the death of your organization uh, you need to build that death and you need to duplicate how duplicate so it's a very important skill duplication find new leadership in your death and mm -hmm. keep the fire in your organization if your distributors uh, doesn't um, get results, 
your fire is going down. To put the fire up in your organization, you need to generate results and um, duplicate um, the, 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 the skills, the most important right. skills to build this business. I love that. I love that. You said so much in those two minutes that you spoke. Um, generate duplication because you're right. If you do not train your team to, to develop the skill sets and to rise into those leadership levels, you're always going to be doing the activity yourself. And there's only one of you. So if we want to get to these diamond positions and higher, emerald positions and higher, you have to have other people that do it as well. But though, thank you so much for that. Uh, now we're going to go on to Ms. Kathy. Kathy, go ahead and tell us uh, why this is such an important skill to master. Well, I think it, if, we, if we look at why people leave our business or fade away, it's because their expectations are not realized. And in, when you look at that, a lot of times it's because no one asked them what their expectations were. So when we sponsor people, typically what we do is we ask them three questions. What do they want? And whatever it is, we translate it into money. So I want to send my kid to college. Okay, what's that going to cost on a monthly basis? I want to buy a new house. What's that going to cost on a monthly basis? Whatever it is, I want to translate it to a monthly income. Okay. My second question to them is, what are you willing to give to get it? So if they're, they're saying they want to make $5,000 a month, Okay, and they, then they say to me, well, I can give you two nights a week, but otherwise I'm busy. Okay, I'm going to be honest with them and tell them it's unlikely. So maybe we need to adjust how much time or we need to adjust the amount of money. And the third thing is, when do they want it? Mm. So I had someone once tell me they wanted $10,000 a month. They wanted... Uh, to, uh, they could only give me two nights a week and they wanted to make this in two months. <laughs> so I explained to them that we did not have a lottery here, that we were going to have to adjust some things or it wasn't going to work. And then once we do that and we know what they want and we know the amount of money, we can calculate what position do they need to reach to accomplish that. And then all you have to do is set a plan to get there, Amazing. which we do. Okay. Amazing. And uh, you know what I heard in all the things that you said, because you said so much, Ms. Kathy, is you provide clarity. And uh, that's a huge aspect of leadership. A leader knows where they're going and how they're getting there. And getting people started when they're first new in the business, they don't know. They don't know what's going on. And so what you, what I heard you say, in essence, is you provide clarity by managing those expectations from a goal standpoint to the amount of time it's going to take um, and what they need to do to, to get there. So that is great. To my super fans out there, isn't this such amazing content? I mean, this is what we're talking about, guys. This is the type of stuff that LEAD is going to give you, and we are just getting started. So if you're excited, drop a 10 in the comment box below because it's only going to get better. So with that, let's go out uh, back to Canada and let's hear from Victor and Victoria why, in your experience, this has been such an important skill to master. Um, I think the networking marketing is a professional industry. We need to do it in the right way. We need to bring them to the system, the step by step. Some people with a very good resource, but they failed because they do it in their own way. Some people with a few resources, but a success. You know why? Because they have an open mind and a coachable and can follow up the system step by step and become success. So this is very, very important to Started is a uh, master launch is uh, yes. right away. Absolutely, absolutely, Victor. Hi, becoming a new member. 
doesn't mean they know enough about genetics. Mm -hmm. Because most of the members don't know how to start the first step. They don't know how to record, present genetics clearly and completely. So we need to let them know how to master some basic skills, including how to make them list, how to invite. So most members, also most of members don't know, don't have enough confidence. So they need encouragement. We can communicate with our members to let them take our action by asking some questions. That's and right. see how we can keep them. That's right. So we need to do something like let them know how simple the genetics, if we step by steps and give them some simple ideas, what they need to do. Yes, yes, you, you know so what? If they follow the list, the, genetics, the system is in place. Yes. It works. It's very simple, super simple. All the information on tours is in our office, in our back office. That's right. It's available or handy. Yes. You know what, Victor, I, I love one of the things that you first said, which is when they first get started, they just, they don't know, right? Um, and I think one of the most important skills um, that a leader has that I have heard you all talk about and that I have witnessed over the course of my career is um, the word that comes to mind is empathy. It's being able to remember exactly what it feels like when you're first getting started. I mean, do you remember that first day when you got started? You were excited, you just saw an opportunity, but at the same time, that excitement needs to funnel into something. And there is a lot. We have so much goodness at Jeunesse, so it could be easy to not know where to start, to get overwhelmed. And as leaders, we hold their hands and we guide them through it. So thank you, Victor, Victoria. That was an incredible response. Thank you so much for that. And Dennis, we'll go ahead and go to you. Why is this such an important skill to master? Well, it, it is very important as a first time in this industry to getting start because what Kathy mentioned, we have to think why they leave. A lot of people just don't have the correct perspective and expectation what they need to do in this business. Actually, you know, it, there's no free lunch there. You know, they have to work, but they have to know, you know, to starting up, you know, the launching, to set the pace and also understanding, they have a clear understanding what really they need. And if you're starting correctly, you know, the upcoming journey will be much, much more easier. And they know what, what they can face in uh, what's coming up in the in this journey. You know, it doesn't matter you are just a user or you're just part-timer, they just need to have very good, uh, you know, understanding what they're coming up. So that is how I think, you know, the important that to launching, to master the how you start a, 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 the person, the newcomer has very, very, you know, good perspective that what they are, look, they are looking for in the future. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you so much uh, for, to all of our panelists for answering that question because yes, launching is a skill. It's not just something that you do or it's not something you go through, it's something you really truly have to master in order to have that duplication like Betho said. Um, let's move on to our second question, which um, is, is one of my favorite um, you know, talking points when it comes to this topic. And the question is, what are your key objectives when you're sitting down and launching new distributors, right? What are those key objectives? If you can think of the takeaways that you want your new distributors to walk away with and nothing else, what would that be? So we'll go back to the top. We'll, go, we'll start with you, Beto, from Brazil. Go ahead and tell us what your objectives are when you're launching new distributors. Okay, um, I think when I, I launch a new distributor, uh, for me, it's like, um, like if I'm introduced this distributor, if I'm helping uh, him to cross the line, to cross the line from hard to, 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 to do this business to easy to do this business. So I need to help him cross the line. So my, uh, my first objective is um, help the first results. I, I, you need to understand that if you wanna, if you're gonna eat a pizza, you need to eat to eat the pizza while in hot, you know. So it's the same thing with a new distributor. If you take too much, if you, you take too long to help him to get the first results, uh, 
that's kind of a, a treadmill that uh, that push him out from the business. You know, there's some adversities, ob objections, some people from his family maybe gonna give him a cold shower, do you know? So you need to help this distributor get fast results. So I always help him to, to make the things really simple, find two new customers. Like in, in my beginning, I, I start my business, find my first customer. My, my first customer was my grandma. I just sell some products to my grandma and to my uncle. I got my first results and I got excited with this. <laughs> so very simple task. F uh, find the two simple, uh, two, uh, two simple customers and two the, and two easier uh, new distributors. And I always help him connect this new distributor to the community. Everyone need to be part of uh, to belong of something bigger than than that's right than themselves so connect connect him uh, with the community and help to find new customers to customers to distributors and uh, uh, use the products and give them a simple tasks simple homeworks to to the next week keep the process really simple and help this distributor <laughs> cross the line hard to do to easy to do okay did you guys hear that super fans you eat the pizza while it's hot i love that right nobody likes cold pizza i mean at least i don't like cold pizza right we got to eat the pizza while it's hot so helping them cross that line right away connecting them to the community incredible uh, miss kathy let's go ahead and go to you what is your objective when launching new distributors well, your, my, our, our objective is always to get them to executive as quickly as possible because then they get some recognition and they get the feeling that they can accomplish this. And the other thing we want to do is set, we, we also want to set um, the, the expectations. So we're ha up front, we tell people, for every three people you talk to, one's probably going to say no. Second one's probably going to say no. Third one's going to join. One out of three. That's your numbers. So in the long term, you can figure well, however many people you need in your business, you're going to need to talk to three times that number. That's right. But the, what, what that does for people is when they get their first no, they don't quit because you told them this is going to happen. Yes, 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 yes. Bulletproofing their mindset. That is, that is so necessary when somebody is getting started in the business because you're right. And I think Beto said this earlier. Sometimes they'll have that negative person that could be somebody they really care about. And the truth is that whoever might be a little bit negative, they just don't know. They haven't heard about Janess. They haven't seen what that new distributor has seen. So bulletproofing their mindset. Um, I, I love it. Thank you for that, Kathy. Victor, Victoria, let's go ahead and go to you. What are your objectives when launching new distributors? Yeah. Um, my objective is, uh, first of all, we, we need to know, sign up the, sign up the paperwork. And the first step, we need to show them the whole picture of Janice. Uh, one of the video shows them South Welcome the video. We must, uh, let our um, new member know this uh, company's culture, culture, vision, and the mission, and the uh, brief future of the genetics. Yes. I would also generally ask them about their goal, uh, identify their need, their want, and the expectation. How much she would like to put uh, effort into the business as well? That's right. This is uh, I ordered for for the for my downline. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, you know, you said something on there that I want to pit that I want to just touch on. You said you get them to you know get all their paperwork in because sometimes people take a look at the business. We've all seen it. 
but they don't get started right away. And uh, using this opportunity to launch distributors is also an opportunity to follow up. When somebody isn't fully sure if they want to get started, if they sit down with you and they find out a little bit more, they learn a little bit more about Jeunesse, they're probably ready to get started. So um, thank you for that. Thank you, Victor, Victoria. Let's go to Dennis. Dennis, what are some key objectives that you have when launching distributors? Uh, the key objective in launching it, uh, the first, you know, when we meet the new new distributor and they come in, you know, I want to give them some of sense of security uh, that they are not alone. We connect them with their leader, with the community. And now we can create a group in WhatsApp, WeChat, Messenger. It doesn't matter. You know, it's so easy now for the social media. Give them a sense of security that if they have any question, they know where to go for. And the second thing is, you know, I want them to have a very clear position. What are they positioned in this business? As a, just a consumer, or they want to be a part-timer, or they, or they want to jump all in as a global entrepreneur. You know, this is, they have a very clear understanding what is required upcoming. Uh, that is the main objective I have. And also, if they are just a consumer, you know, sign, but make sure that they are on the on the smart delivery uh, and all that. You know, to make sure that you they have a time for this yes system that they need times to repair their system in their body. For something a part timer, what they need to do get the list and set some specific goals. Uh, that really what they want to achieve. You know, because a lot of people out there they lost their goal. They don't That's know right. what they want to do. You know, some yes. more specific. Yes, absolutely. And that leads me to um, to our last question here today. We've got about five minutes and I really do want to touch on this. Um, Dennis, you talked about getting them integrated into the community, using tools to getting them started, WeChat, WhatsApp, Facebook, all types of things. And one of the things that we know Janessa does very well is tools. Um, you know, we have gone the extra mile to make sure you are set up for success. So um, let's go ahead quickly in about 60 seconds or less, maybe just tell us a little bit about how you facilitate launching um, using the tools that Janessa has given all of us to use. So uh, Beto, do you want to go ahead and lead us off? Okay, uh, easy. Um, I just make a quick tour with the new distributor in the website in the J Office uh, and share some links like um, share um, connected uh, with uh, connect in the um, online meetings. Uh, it's all about connection. If these distributors are connecting the fire, uh, probably uh, they not gonna uh, the fire not gonna get get down. So you need to put the fire on, connect these new distributors on the system, and help them to be in depth, independent from you. They need to walk with their own legs. You cannot carry uh, the, the new distributors in your back for a long time. Even you, if you are a strong. Uh, a uh, lady or a strong man, you cannot carry uh, too many people in your back. So help them walk with their own leg fast. I love that. I love that. It just empowering our new team members to do the business for themselves and to your point, duplicate and grow. Love it. Thank you so much. Ms. Kathy? Well, we have, you know, we like most teams, we have Facebook pages. We ha we're doing um, Facebook lives on those pages. We have, a tr we have trainings for our entire team every Sunday. Um, we take a lot of questions and answers. For me, I think too, the, the tools, for example, the getting started videos that are on uh, our back office, those are a good test when somebody's new. If I bring somebody in and I say to them, I'd like you to listen to this, I'm gonna say to them, when do you think you can do that? And they say to me, well, I can do it in a couple days. I'm gonna tell them, great. Why don't we talk in a couple of days and I'll answer any questions you might have. And if when we talk, they have not done that, that tells me that we've got strike one. So we give them a second chance. We give them a third chance. Yes. But if they have not done it in three chances, I'm probably going to spend less time with them. That's right. Because after all the years I've been in this business, I can tell you one of the things that separate the successful from the unsuccessful is people who are successful recognize the people who are not going to do anything. That's right. Protecting your time. On. Protecting your time That's is right. a huge resource. Thank you so much for that. 
Victor, Victoria? Yes. So I we always uh, use some online tools to help to support our team members. Uh, such as we always call a small meeting by using Zoom on chat group chatting in ABC where yes. provider to get more to get them to get more information about the next. We also schedule a specific on different time for different group, different type of members. Some people only like products. Some people like business. Some people want to do the next as an entrepreneur. So we make, make it differently. Yes. So also we show them how to use a uh, training tools in the office, step by step, including how to make orders and to orders. So especially some and uh, uh, how to get resource from the, the tools, the, the tools, the cloud, the office. Yes. And just, uh, this trail. The online so this tools. Is part, uh, to get resource and support from company and from our team. Thank so we you. show them how to use this tool very quickly. Yes, thank you so much. So you guys got that, the tools online. I mean, Janess gives us so, so much. So Dennis, here in just about 30 seconds or less, any tools that you have uh, that you want to share with, uh, with our audience here today that they can use to get their team started right? Yes, I think, you know, Janess have all these fantastic tools to getting started, you know, share Janess and play Janess, whatever. Uh, but one of the important things I feel that is, you know, they know how to use like the right now the, uh, the video conference, like Zoom, mm -hmm. like Google Meet, because they need to know to be familiar that in the future, how they can create a meeting with their prospect too. So this is the things that, you know, we have to teach them and get familiar because after they connect, we are connect always. You can share screen and show them what to do in the future. Yes, absolutely. I think in the in the new age that we live in, in this new world that we are in, what you just said is extremely important. There are so many tools out there, um, you know, to help facilitate launching, presenting, training, which is also imperative. So, um, super fans, uh, Janess family, we hope that you got so much from this training. It's going to be online. I recommend that you watch this over and over again because truly what our panelists said today was extremely deep. There was so much content in what they said, and we truly hope that you master this skill on helping your team to not just get signed up and registered, but to truly get started. And what they shared with us today is exactly what we have to do to help people achieve more success. So Beto, Kathy, Victor, Victoria, Dennis, thank you so much for being here today. Are you guys excited about LEAD? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's have a wonderful event and we'll see you guys at the top. Thank you.